Welcome everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day today. And as you can see by the title, we're going to go through some Total Fallen Grade. So let's get to it. All right, first of all, what is Total Fallen Grade? How do we calculate it? How does it work? What do we need? What's the variables? All that kind of stuff we're going to go through today. Um, first of all, kind of a little idea of what's going on here. Take a piece of pipe or a piece of anything and we're just going to run it level and that's it. No problem. Except what if that pipe was a drainage pipe and you had to run it at a particular slope at a particular grade because all the contents of that drainage pipe had to drain out just by gravity. How would you calculate that? What you'd be trying to figure out is the pipe was going to grade down a certain amount and in that certain amount you would fall given a certain length. So we're going to take all these variables and we're going to figure out how far the a pipe is going to fall given a certain length and given a certain grade. All right. So what do we got to get to first? Well, let's talk about the grade. It can be stated in three ways. The first way is the percent. So you can have 1%, 2%, 4%, anything in between, anything you want, 1.5, 2.5, whatever you want, whatever works for you. And what it means is that if, as the pipe goes a certain distance, it falls 1% or 2% of the distance that it travels. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one's going to be ratio. Now, the ratio is, say, you can see the examples there, 1 in 100, 1 in 50, 1 in 25. If we were to take 1 in 50 as our example, and let's say we went 50 feet. What that means is a ratio of 1 and 50, we would drop 1 foot. If we went 50 inches, we would drop 1 inch. If we went 50 miles, we would drop 1 mile. So that's the ratio, how that one works. The third one here, inches per foot, might just be the most common in the trades. And of the three you see there, a quarter inch per foot might be the most common in the piping trades, such as plumbing. So what this means is for every foot the pipe goes, it drops one quarter inch. And this is enough slope or grade to allow the contents of the pipe to drain just by gravity. So all right, there you go. There you have it. There's the three grades. And now what we need to do is say, okay, how does that work in the formula? There it is. It's not the most compli complicated formula ever invented. There are three variables, and we can use a triangle, just like this, to come up with any of the three formulas that we want. So, for instance, if we wanted to solve for length, it would be total fall over grade. If we wanted to solve for grade, it would be total fall over length. Now, all they're doing is using that triangle to come up with it. You have three variables, you put them in that triangle, you can solve for anything. Okay, best way to do this, you guessed it, we will go to an example. All right, you got 200 feet of pipe, and it's run at a grade of, and we'll do them all at the same time, one of each, 2%, 1 in 50, quarter inch per foot. They're going to turn out to be very similar, in fact, all three of them. Now, the idea is, though, with those, what's the fall on the pipe, given all those variables, those parameters. Okay, so spread those out, go from left to right, the 2%. Now what you might know is say, well, wait a minute, hold on, whoa, 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 we got 2%, yet in the formula, 200 feet times 0 0.02, well, that represents 2%, okay? 2% is like 2 per 100 or per cent. So to calculate it, it's 2 divided by 100 or 0 0.02. That's the number we got to use. And in the end of the day, the total fall works out to be four feet. Now note here that the, that the fall, or sorry, the length is in feet. The total fall is in feet. They're the same. That's always going to be the case. If the fall or if the length was in miles, the total fall would be in miles. So on and so forth. All right. Move to the second one. One in 50. Okay. Notice again, the length is 200 feet. The fall is in feet. Same concept. The length and the fall are going to be the same. Now, when you go 200 times the grade of 1 in 50, 
You could also do that 200 just divided by 50. It works out to be the same thing. Mathematically, those are the same. So there's the second version. Now the third version might be the one that's a little more tricky. And the reason is, if you check out the length is in 200, is in feet, the fall is in inches. Whenever you have a scenario like this, when the grade is in inches per foot, all right, when the grade is in inches per foot, the fall is in inches. Now you can change it from 50 inches to 4 feet 2 inches, whatever works for you. But that's a key note to remember. So in the end of the day, 2%, 1 in 50, and a quarter inch per foot, eh, they're all pretty much the same, pretty darn close. So there you have it. There's a quick example of each three of those. All right, now, I want to go through one more thing with you because it's a little more complicated. Just another question, and this is about finding the grade. So there's your question. You want to find the grade in percent form. The pipe runs 59 feet, and during that run, it falls 7 and 7 eighths inches. You want to find the grade. How do you do that? Well, we start with our formula. Total fall is length, time, length times grade. Now we've got to change it up to solve for grade, and we put our numbers in. And say, whoa, 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 hold on a second here. We can't divide inches into feet. That doesn't work. We've got to change both of those so they're either both in inches or both in feet. So I went and um, there you go. Must change so that both are in the same units. I went and changed them to inches. There you go. Now we can work with that. Now we can divide that and we work. We get 0 0.011 what? It's not percent yet. I don't know what that is, to, but to move it to percent, we actually have to do one more step, and that's multiply it by 100. There's our final answer, 1.1%. Yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe. If you already haven't subscribed, that would be great. Uh, have, have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you back watching some more videos, and hopefully you guys are using these and successful in your studies. Have a great day.